I was called by a couple of friends that um, some student who I happen to know at the who's at the university was um, arrested over taking photos of the police while they were arresting some other people. So I came in here and they started telling folks to go out and um, I stepped out and then I came back in. I was talking to Aliu, the guy who got arrested. And when I was talking to him, they said we should go out. And whilst I was standing there, this guy just started, um, you know, sort of threatening me that I should go out or he can do da 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 da. And I was like, no, you're not doing that. This is a public uh, space and I did, I'm not doing anything wrong by being inside this place. And um, yeah, basically, and we, we had a push and pull and it was heated. And now the guy has been sort of released and they are having a dialogue inside the station office's um, office about the next course of action. Precisely that's what happened from my point of view. Uh, he was just telling me what happened, you know, basically. He was just trying to break it down for me, but he will be out soon, so I think he will be pleased to grant an interview so he could go into the details himself. Once we had a meeting with the um, Inspector General of Police and he was talking about they're trying to democratize, democratize um, the police force. And um, what I'm finding is that um, what I found today is that this is far from being a reality because no citizen in this country deserves to be um, uh, 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 harassed by the police who, has, who should have been the guardians of the law. So, um, I mean, I, it wasn't pleasant at all. I'm, I'm still pissed about it because I shouldn't be threatened inside a public space by the police who are supposed to be protecting my human rights. Uh, command of operations of the police. And, um, yeah, I mean, I was asking for an apology, but he was saying, ah, oh, you know, the apology would be too, you know, would be too, too little uh, an effort for them to do. So they want to do a whole thing. And I didn't want to push it because, of course, um, it was in the heat of the moment and I don't want to, you know, keep going because they were already calling people inside. Uh, thank you very much. I closed from work, going home. I saw these police officers doing their normal patrol, arresting youths. So I said I had to take this as an opportunity and just take a picture. Then I snapped. When I snapped, you know, three of them jumped from the Twitter and questioned me. I can see with force, why are you taking the pictures? Then I told them, you know, I didn't commit any crime. Three of them just grabbed me and threw me inside the Twitter. When they threw me inside the Twitter, they handcuffed me, slapped me, you understand, and start stabbing me. So while on the way, I made it clear to them that I didn't commit any crime. So they told me clearly that they are taking me to Serkunda police station. But then on the way, one of the police officers made it clear to me that they are going to set me up because they know very well they don't have a case against me. When we went to Kololi police station, we met the SO there. When we met the SO, they wanted to take me to a room. Do you understand? They wanted to take me to a room I said, I'm not going there. So that's the time I went to the SO's office. I talked to him. The other guy came and said, what I did, if it was him, he's going to do more than what they did to me. So that's the time they brought me here. When they brought me here, they decided to take me to another room again. I insisted. You know, one of the officers just pulled me and started beating me up. They untied me, sent me, to the, sent me inside the, inside the cell. Yes. Of course.